that's it? You're just going to hang up and say, fuck you, and then hang up? Why don't you say something else back, you prick? Another cuckold connoisseur. Uh, how about uh, 631, Radio Graffiti? What's up, Ghost? Hitman Cause. Hey, we got the Hitman Cause in the house. What's up, Hitman? Um, I'm chilling, man. How you? Well, uh, you know, I, I did this impromptu ghost show at the request of everybody out here, and they're not giving me any respect about it, I'll tell you that. That shit happened. Um, I gotta, I gotta say, man, I, I, I did not expect you to be playing that L7 song. That shit was fire, yo. Dude, I, I, I have an eclectic taste in music. I tell you, I have a whole array of, of different styles of music that I appreciate. That's why, I mean, I, I never just shun a musical genre unless I've extensively heard it and I can, you know, genuinely say the shit sucks. I, I hear that, and I can't even front. And I haven't heard that No Doubt song since I was a little kid. Because like, it was like I, I heard it like once on a commercial, and then I never heard it again. That dude, these idiots thought it was AI. That's how stupid these people are nowadays in America. That's Gwen and, and Stefani, uh, by the way. Modern music Gwen music. Stefani. Yeah, I know. Uh, I mean, I mainly uh, saw her doing uh, a lot of work with Eve. Um, that, that's when I saw a lot of her work. And then, and then she set the world on fire with Hollaback Girl. I ain't your Hollaback Girl. I ain't your Hollaback Girl. You talking about that one? Yep. I thought that she kind of took off by doing uh, that, that talk talk song. It's my life. I thought she took off with that shit. Honestly, I'd say that that like springboarded it, but but like Hollabacko like really put her or, like put her in in, in super stardom because like that, cause that song was played everywhere and I mean everywhere on the radio, hell in in my schools, on on commercials, it was everywhere. Hey man, well, by, cheers to the Hitman cause. I appreciate it. It's always a pleasure you calling up, man. Cheers to you, and I hope everything's going good with you. Let's take some... Oh, yeah. What have I got? And here I am with my afterthoughts. Now, if it didn't come out clearly, I said no doubt when when talking about uh, Gwen Stefani. Um, But, yeah. Uh, fun, funny enough, when it came to that, to that no doubt song that 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 was played um it was uh don't speak like like literally it was one of those songs where like i heard it as a kid when i was like five six seven where like i heard it like like one like a clip of it on a commercial and then i never heard the song ever again so it was so it was nice to um to hear about to hear to hear it again, you know what I'm saying, and uh, and and uh, and honestly, you know, I'd, I'd say I'd say no doubt's pretty underrated as a group, but but it, it but it was mainly uh, Gwen Stefani's thing, and and honestly, when she, when she started collaborating with Eve, I think that's when she started, you know. I mean, she was already in the limelight, but I think that's in my her work with Eve was what you know propelled her to superstardom. Cause you know she she started to expand she started to expand her 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 um I guess palette more if if you would where she was switching from where she was mixing a uh, little hip hop into her repertoire. And I know there there are certain people that that don't you know have the best opinion about about hip hop, but you know especially during birth, especially during the two the two thousands you know it it was extremely popular, so it only makes sense 
for it for you know somebody using using it as a springboard you know what I'm saying and and and, and I and honestly pretty much all the work she she did with her well they did together was top notch I still I still bump let me blow your mind to this day you know what I'm saying and then what I said about uh what I and then what I said about about what's his face um about how a back girl I wasn't I wasn't capping like she literally set the world on fire because when that song came out no number one it blew up number two literally it you heard it everywhere like there like there would be there would be no inch of, of the world of, of the world in the u.s where you would not hear that song because literally you would hear it on the radio you hear you'd constantly hear it on tv you'd hear it in commercials if you were, if you were in school, you'd, you'd hear it there. You hear, you hear it at parties. That literally, you couldn't go in anywhere without hearing the song or somebody singing it. If it, it was, it was that big, that popular, and that good, and that good. You know what I'm saying? And then, and then back to L7. Um, I, I honestly got a credit. Uh, Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas, for for me even knowing who L7 is, because they have because they featured the song "Pretend That We're Dead" on it. That that was uh, that was some good shit. And then what happened was I actually heard Shitless before Ghost played it like many years ago. I think. Um, the professional wrestler John Moxley used it as his theme in Combat Zone Wrestling, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. And the thing is, like, when I when I was younger, I could care less about other people's about other people's uh, songs or themes or whatever. But if it's from an, an artist that I recognize, I'll give it a shot. And you know. And and of course, there's there's a chance I could be wrong, and if I and if I am, my bad. I'm not. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't like to limit, limit myself nowadays when it comes to uh, music. I try. I try to you know sample other shit. I mean, as long as it's good. But that's about it. Um. So before before I get up out of here, let's go ahead and give a round of shout outs. Um, shout out to, to the underdog as usual. Uh, sh- shout out to Ann in Philly. Um, sh- shout out to my boy Haywood. Shout out to, to the drunken Aussie. Shout out to Winston Fujimori. And shout out to, to Helmet Boy. Shout out to all y'all. Um, of course, shout out to. To, to my, my boy, the humble man. We coming at y'all. Um, if, if this video drops before we drop the review for both ba- Battleground and Clash of the Castle, my bad. Uh, just I'm like I'm li- I'm literally recording this while I'm on, while I'm on my break, so you know. Uh, so like I'm, so I'm really pressed for time. But but yeah, we, we we're trying to we're trying to get back at y'all. But you know, uh, but until then, that's gonna do it, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely want to thank each and every one of y'all for taking the time out of your busy schedule to come and chill with your boy. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Comment if you feel like it. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video. And as always, by way of Struggle Vision Productions, I am the Hitman Kaz. And if you see me coming, run. <laughs>